Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to Stack's YouTube channel. Today we're going to do an explain and review on the Sub Rosa Tyro Complete Bike. Before we go into details and tell you everything about this, uh, we want you to stay tuned to the end of the video. We're going to tell you how to win a bunch of free stuff from our bike shop. We're going to give away a parts package and uh, also a bicycle at 1,000 subscribers and at 5,000 subscribers. So stay tuned for that. We're also going to tell you where you can buy this bike. Um, we're going to tell you a bunch of specs and everything like that as well. So stay tuned and watch the whole video so you can get all the information. Uh, so yes, this is uh, the Sabrosa Tyro Complete Bike. It comes in a couple different colors and sizes. So I'll kind of break that down for you so you can understand. Um, we also have some other videos that we previously posted and they have a lot more in-depth detail. We're not going to really go over that because this bike has a lot of cool features that we want to talk about and we don't want the video to get too long. So if you go on that, you can check, check some more info about that. So like the geometry and stuff like that, we don't really talk about that on, on this one. Um, you can also look at our website at stackbmx.com to find all the head tube angles, uh, bottom bracket heights, the rear end lengths and stuff like that. But generically, we're going to kind of just talk about this. So first off, this, this bicycle, it comes in two different sizes and it comes in different colors based on the sizes. So uh, it comes in a 20 and a half inch frame and the 20 and a half inch frame is, uh, and it's also called 20.5 inch frame if you don't know that. Um, so it comes in different colors and different sizes. So the, in the 20.5 it comes in a gloss black uh, comes in a uh, highlighter blue and then a neon green as well and that size is specifically for about 5.6 to 5.10 now that's kind of just a suggested size you can go up and down from there based on preference but that's a general rule of thumb, thumb. so if you're, you're those heights you probably want to get one of those bicycles um, it also comes in a 21 inch frame and that one's available in the Tiffany blue and the, the gloss black. So if you're between like 510 and 6162, you're gonna wanna get the 21 inch frame. Um, if you end up buying the smaller one, you're a big guy, it's gonna be a little bit cramped. So uh, you definitely wanna try to get the 21, but then again, it is all, it is all uh, just suggestion. So those are the sizes and the colors that they come in. And all the bicycles come with the same features and stuff like that. So let's let's start from like the front end and let's work our way to the back. So we'll start at the top. What's cool about this bike is that when you when you grab this bicycle and you go to ride it, the first thing you do is you touch the bicycle. So most of the time you end up grabbing the handlebars, and that's a big deal to me because you always want to feel comfortable. You want something soft. You you don't want to really get calluses like I have. Uh, this is from riding tons of bikes and mainly shoveling and using tools and stuff where they don't have a super soft grip on, on them. So this one comes with the Shadow Conspiracy Old Dirty Grip. It's an aftermarket grip, so that makes it real nice. It's got like a little diamond pattern on it and the, the ribs kind of change directions. And then they got some uh, Shadow Conspiracy logos on there. So they're pretty cool. And these are aftermarket, comes with aftermarket bar end. So that makes it really nice, adds a little bit of feature to the bike. Next up is the, the brake lever. And then we'll kind of go down to the brake since that, that's all kind of connected and, and relate. So it comes with a, a two finger brake lever. It's an alloy lever, pretty basic uh, rant lever. And it's got a, a basic brake cable on it. Now it goes down to the bottom down here. And this is the actual welded brake stop. So that, that's kind of cool, it stops the cable. But if you come up here, you'll notice that it has uh, actual Sabrosa. Let me spin this so you can check it out. It's got a Velcro Sabrosa uh, tie right there. So it holds the cable up here in the front so it doesn't bounce around and, and basically make a bunch of noise. You'll hear a lot of tings on your, on, uh, excuse me. It, it'll make a lot of ting noises when you're riding or riding the trails or hitting bumps and stuff like that. You might have heard it on some of your buddies' frames and, and stuff like that. So that that's what the noise is. Um, from after the brake stop, it just goes right into a, a rant uh, 990 brake. 
So this is a pretty pretty generic brake, uh, pretty universal. It's basically uh, it's pretty much like a basic brake. So as far as you go down the line, uh, the 990 brake, it's nothing special. It's a it's just a like a forged uh, brake to kind of keep the cost down. Most of you guys are going to end up taking the brakes off, so they didn't really put a lot into that. But it still got tons of power to stop you. So if you want to stop really well, it definitely works really, really well for that. Um, now let's move back up to the to the front end of the bike and let's go to the handlebars. The handlebars are a nine-inch handlebar. A lot of the, the riders nowadays they want a little bit larger bar, and our best-selling handlebar is a nine-inch handlebar. So this one comes stock with a Sabrosa nine-inch uh, high tensile uh, steel handlebar. So that makes it real nice to start off on. You get a nice feel of the bike and a nice feel of some aftermarket bars. So if you like this reach, you can kind of you know upgrade and buy different bars if you if you want a different thing. But makes it real nice to start off on. And then it's clamped onto the bike with this ramp uh, forged stem. And it's pretty cool because it's a it's a top load. That's what everybody wants to ride. They want to bring their bars up a little bit more. Uh, a lot of people don't want the front load stem. And it, with this and the nine inch bars, what it allows you to do is it allows you to have a lot of room inside of the in the cockpit area. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing a video right now. So, <laughs> so that's our dude. He uh, helps us with the the jams and stuff in the back. He just have to say what's up. So I thought I'd say what up to him. But uh, yeah, so the, the stem it's pretty much you know I mean what what everybody wants. It's a great starter to start off on and it's gonna be able to clamp your bars and, and keep your bars pretty lifted. So that makes it really, really cool. Uh, the next thing is is that it comes with a red ionized uh, integrated headset. So it's a, a ramp, uh, bang, bang up, uh, bang your headset, and it comes in an anodized red. The cool feature about this is that it's anodized red. We see a lot of bikes and it's pretty much all black. So this adds a little bit of detail. We get a lot of customers coming in here buying an aftermarket headset because they want to kind of customize it and, and put some anodized parts on it. This bike comes with that. So that makes it super, super dope. Uh, also too, uh, you can't really see it, but it also has a rack, uh, a compression cap on it, and that is red as well. So that's super, super cool. And you can see it every single time you ride, you look down and you can see this this bright red uh, cap that matches this, this headset cap. Um, now let's go down to the forks and we'll come back to the frame. So the, the forks, uh, I know this is really, really cool. A lot of the stock bikes have uh, tapered forks, but they don't dramatically taper. This one here, it tapers an extreme amount. As you can see from, from the video, it's really, really small here, and then it's a lot larger here, and then it has welded caps on here, and then it's got like a, a pretty cool uh, dropout, and that dropout is about five millimeters thick. So you can run pegs on this without, without bending the, the dropout really, really easy. So that makes it super, super cool. And then uh, they're made out of a high, high tensile steel, so it's a, it's a great starter fork, and basically get your own, you started on riding bikes. Now let's go down to the, the tires. This comes with a red squat tire, and this is a 2.35. So it's it's not one of the big 2.4s, but the looking at this tire, it looks just about the same size as a 2.4. So definitely, I think that this tire is a little bit bigger than what it actually says. But you know, I mean, don't take my word for it. Buy one of these bikes. Check it out for yourself. So yeah, definitely in the 2.4 range. I would say maybe a hair under 2.4, but it's definitely very, very large. And the same thing goes for the back wheel. It comes with the 2.35 red squat tire as well. Uh, now on the front wheel, uh, the, the big thing that I notice on this front wheel is that it comes with an anodized uh, front hub. And it's, an, it's actually a rack unsealed, uh, three eighths axle front, front hub. And it is laced with, with stainless steel spokes with a, a single wall alloy rim. Now this is a little bit different than a lot of the other alloy rims that we see on the complete bikes. This one actually comes with a little bit wider rim. It looks like it's about a 43 to 44, maybe 45 wide rim. A lot of the other bikes that come with a lot narrower, like about a one, uh, about 38 millimeter, maybe 40 tops uh, front wheel. 
and that's probably why this tire looks a little bit bigger is because it comes with a wide rim. That's kind of what everybody wants on the aftermarket side of things. So that's a really, really cool feature on here. And then also too with the 3 8 axle, it's got a lot of meat on it. It has a lock washer, and, or not a lock washer, it has a, it's a regular washer and then it's like a hook washer to tie into the fork so your wheel doesn't drop out. So if you end up running pegs or anything like that, you can remove it and it, the, the axle has a lot of, lot of thread on it so that you can bolt up a front peg to it. Now let's go into the frame and the frame's a big part of the bike. It's basically what, what you're kind of looking at and it's the main attraction to the bike. So there's a lot of cool details that we notice on this frame compared to a lot of the other frames. This one, first off, I noticed that it has a really cool badge on the front. And what makes that super cool is that a lot of, a lot of companies are, are making bikes and they're selling um, their frames with badges and a lot of them aren't. But the ones with the badges, they just seem a little bit cooler because it kind of makes a, a little custom thing. And then if you go a little bit more on that, it's actually embossed and it, it raises up. So if you get like a, a paint marker or some type of something like that, you can even paint it paint it and make it look a little bit more custom. So we, we ain't gonna do that, we're not gonna do that right now, but that's kind of an idea I wanna share with you guys. I've, I haven't really seen anybody do that, but if, it, if I bought a Sabrosa for one of my kids or anything like that, which I probably will, I'll, you'll definitely see that, that feature on my bicycle or my son's bicycle. So um, that's, that's really cool. And then also another thing is that this has gyro um, mounts. Um, integrated into the frame so it's got a, a threaded bolt right here so you can put a gyro on here if you like so that's really cool uh, if you want to add a gyro down in the down the road because a lot of frames don't come with those gyro tabs even on the frame so being a being a stock complete bike having those makes it really cool to upgrade and kind of customize your bike to fit yourself another thing about the head tube is that it's got a cool hourglass I want to say hourglass, it's, it looks similar, but it actually has a, a very sharp edge where it tapers. And it, it looks really, really dope. It looks uh, more towards like an aftermarket frame. And that, that just looks super, super rad. But you got to see it in person. So if you have a bike shop near you or you stop by our shop, check it out. It definitely adds a little bit more detail than, than most people would think or you could see in, in a photo. Another thing is, is that it's got two gussets on the, the top and the bottom down to you. Um, so, and with those gussets, it's also got a Sabrosa logo embossed on uh, both sides. So that, that makes the bike and the frame look really, really rad. Because it's just a little bit more details that you can see on the frame and you can add, or you can tell that they, they showed a little bit more love to the frame. And then on top of that, if you're jumping it, you're grinding, you're going to the skate park, and you're doing disasters on the quarter pipes, or you're tasting the, the jump and stuff like that, it's gonna add a lot more life to your bike. Another thing is, is that the gussets aren't welded completely around. Some people may look at that and think that it's not completed, but actually it makes it stronger because once you weld it up on the top right here, it actually weakens it because it heats up the metal and it allows it to, to change uh, composition a little bit. So with that welding it right there, it allows this top tube to stay perfectly fine and be able to take the, the hits and stuff like that. Um, having the welds on there kind of makes it like a bollard opener or a can opener and allows that frame to buckle right there. So instead of them actually doing it uh, good, good for your frame, it actually does the opposite. So that's a really cool feature and that's on both the, da the down tube and the top tube. So that's super, super rad. Now, when you go down towards the, the rear end of the bicycle, you'll notice that, that it has uh, a, lot, a lot smaller sprocket than the old school bikes, and it actually comes equipped, you can't really see it, but it comes equipped with the mid-bottom bracket. So you can pretty much put any aftermarket crank system on there and be able to fit it up to this frame, no problem. It also comes with the, the standard 25-4 slash one inch seat tube. So you can put a, pretty much put any seat post in there and then drop in any seat on there as well. A little bit different is it doesn't have an integrated seat clamp, but to, to kind of remedy that and actually kind of makes it a little bit cooler is that it comes with the anodized Shadow Conspiracy seat clamp. 
So that adds another little touch like the, the headset cap and it makes it a little bit cooler, makes it look like it's got a little bit more higher end stuff on it, which that definitely is an aftermarket part. So that, that's definitely really cool on that, that side of things. Some people think the integrated, integrated seat clamp is, is really cool and that every friend should have it. But at the same time, you know, I mean, seat clamps definitely do look pretty cool. So eat, to each their own and whatever you like, if this is what you like, maybe pick up this bike. Um, also too, it's got a really cool Sabrosa Rose uh, saddle on it and it looks like it, it has Kevlar base on it and it's actually wrapped and supplemented with the, with the logo on the, the nylon um, canvas. And then this, this seat and seat post is actually a one piece seat post. So the seat and seat post all come together. So if you're gonna get an aftermarket seat or anything like that, you would have to get a seat post and a seat. So this is kind of cool because it actually makes the bike a little bit lighter. Having extra guts and bolts and stuff like that makes makes a seat and seat post a lot heavier than just having the one piece. So that, that's super, super cool. Um, as you go back to the rear end, it's pretty basic in the rear end, um, but I do notice that the dropouts are really, really small. If you want to know what the dropouts are, it's basically where you, you mount up to, or mount the rear wheel to. So it's got a, a thick dropout, about a five millimeter dropout thickness on there. So what that does is it allows you to put a peg on there and be able to grind and stuff like that. And with a dropout really, really small, it allows the peg to, to have a lot of breathing room so that when you grind on there, it's not grinding up your frame and making your, your bicycle look like crap. Uh, another cool thing is that the chain stay, it's set, it's set relatively high, almost right in the middle of the axle. And that is a, a really subtle feature that a lot of people don't really take notice or pay attention to. And with that said, is that when that chainstay is right there in the center, when you add a peg there, it actually brings up the chainstay a lot higher. So when you're doing grinds and stuff like that, if you fall down or come off the, the grind in like a feeble or the, uh, mainly like a feeble, if you're feebling a rail or a ledge and you, your front end drops off because you didn't pull up, what it'll do is the, your, the ledge or the rail will hit, hit that chainstay and it dent it up really bad. But with it being up higher, it gives you a lot more clearance to be able to, to miss it and for your frame not to get, get beaten up. Another thing is, you can't really see it, uh, I'll probably show you a little bit about these little features at the end, but on the back here it's got some cool graphics on it. It is actually a lightning bolt with a rose on it. So when you're looking at the bike from behind, it looks really cool because you can actually see some graphics. I haven't really seen any bicycles that come like that, so that's one big feature that I've seen that looks really rad. So definitely like take notice on that. Also too, it's got um, graphics right here on the seat too that, that says the actual model. And then another graphic here, which is a very big Sabrosa logo with the lightning bolts on here. That makes it also really, really cool. It looks like a lot of the, a lot of the pro bikes because they like to run a really big uh, logo right here so that you can see it from far away. So that's a big cool feature on that. Now let's kind of go into the cranks and, and the drive system. So like I was saying earlier, it comes with a, with a small sprocket and that's kind of the generic term, but it's actually a 25 tooth sprocket. And this, this sprocket is actually a steel one. So it allows you a lot of, uh, I guess, space to, to upgrade and, and maybe get a guard sprocket or get a custom sprocket or anything like that. So that's really cool. Um, then it's got a, uh, your basic 410 chain. So um, eventually you're gonna wanna upgrade from that, but this is an introductory bike. So that, that's kind of cool because it keeps down the price and they were able to add the, the money into other features of the bike from like the gussets to, you know what I mean, the graphics, the little, the head tube badge, the gyro uh, pole, uh, bolt holes and stuff like that. So it'll get you started, um, but you grind a lot, you shred, um, eventually you're gonna bend that and break it, but this is kind of cool because, you know what I mean, obviously you're putting the money in somewhere else and you could definitely see that. But the secondary cool thing is that it actually has three-piece cranks on it. Uh, a lot of the bikes are starting to come with three-piece cranks, and, but this one comes with a mid broad bracket, like I stated earlier, and these cranks are a 175 millimeter crank. So 175 is uh, pretty much the generic or the, the medium 
size crank that everybody run. We used to run 180s back in the day, but we're starting to get smaller, and you could even go down to a 165. But if you think about cranks and you're starting off, you kind of want a little bit longer crank because your legs aren't going to be as strong. So with the 175, it acts like a little bit longer crowbar. So it gives you a little bit more leverage to take off and to do the tricks or pedal, pedal hard and stuff like that to keep up with the other guys. So that's really, really cool. Uh, another thing is, is that it's got a thin slim, or thin slash slim rent plastic pedal. And by the looks of this pedal, it's got some huge pins on it. It's got a lot of neural on it. It's super, super slim which is a great feature for me. I love slim pedals and a lot of people tend to want to buy the slim pedals. So that makes it really nice. And then it's got a concave uh, body. So it's actually shaped like this um, so that it's harder for your, your foot to slide off the side. So with the concave like that, it kind of makes your foot come back onto the pedal and it stays secure. So that's definitely, definitely real cool. Um, now let's get to the back wheel. Back wheel is real crucial because this is the number one part that we get in, in here in the shop that people destroy and then they, they come to replace it and stuff like that. And then when we tell them the price of a wheel, they kind of freak out. So um, that's kind of, I would say almost, not necessarily the heart, but it's like a big part of the bicycle. And the cool thing about this, this rear wheel is that it comes with a sealed rear wheel um, or rear hub and it comes with a nine tooth driver. Um, being sealed makes it a lot, a uh, lot more durable, and it allows no like dirt or grease or water. I mean, like no dirt, or water, or anything like that to get inside the hub and to basically tear it up. A lot of the other complete bikes that I've seen, they come with the unsealed uh, rear wheel, and what happens is dirt and grime gets in there, and eventually that dirt and grime grinds down the little pieces, and then it causes the the hub to fail. So that's what, what the customers come in for mainly. They come in, hey, I jacked up this wheel. It's very rarely that they, rare that they bend the, the rear wheel. It's more of they, they end up exploding the rear, rear hub. So having a sealed uh, rear hub makes that really, really nice. So that, that this bike will last a long time without you having to purchase another one. Another cool feature about the, the hub is that it comes with a very, very large axle. And the axle also has an eight millimeter Allen head drilled into the end of it. So if one of your axle nuts gets stuck or something like that, you can put an eight millimeter Allen wrench in there and basically hold it and then be able to grip it from the other side or from the same side and break that loose. And then the axle has a, a lot of meat on it and a lot of threads um, so that if you're running a peg, you can run a peg on there no problem. And looking by, from right here, you got about a half an inch and the main thing about that is that a lot of people are riding the aluminum pegs. So the aluminum pegs are, are normally way thicker to bolt on so that you, uh, so that they don't basic, they basically don't bend. So when you put a peg onto your, your wheel, even if it threads on, doesn't necessarily mean that you can grind with it because uh, basically it could thread on a two or three threads and it could hold your wheel, but the first time you hit a ledge or a rail, that peg could just basically bend like this and it'll actually pop the end of the, the threads off. So that's a big, big problem I've seen with, with rear wheels as well, is that they don't have enough meat on them for, for you to run a peg. So this, this complete bike definitely has enough on there for you to, uh, to run a peg and everything like that. And then also too, it's got the, the stainless steel spokes and it's got the aluminum rear wheel. So that makes it really, really nice. And it's got the, the Ram 2.35 tires on it. So you're definitely getting good quality back wheel. Um, all in all, this, this bike is super, super dope. Uh, um, basically, you know what I mean? It's definitely a great introductory bike. If you're a little bit bigger dude, instead of like a young kid or anything like that, and you're looking for a bike, I think this is a great place to start. It's relatively cheap compared to a lot of the other bikes um, that are priced at this this price point, and you're you're able to get a little bit more for your money um, from a lot of the other companies. So that makes it really really dope on the, on their end. Um, all in all, I think Sabrosa did a really good job putting this bike together. It's got a bunch of cool features on it, and it comes in a bunch of cool sizes, and the colors are just phenomenal. All the colors are really, really dope looking. 
Um, all the little features on the bike are really, really awesome. So if you're looking into a bike, definitely check out this one. If you're not into this color, you could also look at the other colors that, that they have um, on our website, which is stackdmx.com. If um, you're interested in maybe matching them up and seeing what how they compare, you can go on our website as well and see all the other bikes that, that we carry on there. And um, don't forget that all the bikes that we sell on our website, they are all compatible with all the parts. So if you see a seat post on there, or a seat, or tires, or forks, or anything like that, and you have this bicycle, you can you can swap those forks onto this bicycle, and vice versa. So if you're buying this bike and you're saying, hey, you know what, I like that bike, but I bet you 100 kids in my neighborhood have that same bike, I'm gonna try to switch up the colors, I need some new tires, I want some different colored grips, you can go on our website, mismatch everything, order it all up, we'll ship it all out to you in the same box or a couple boxes, and then you can put all the parts together and basically make, make this bike your own. So definitely check out our website at stackdmx.com and make your bicycle yours. And also too, we talked about like uh, basically giving you guys a free parts package from a bunch of the brands that we carry here. So all you gotta do is subscribe to our channel, uh, make sure that you like this video and comment below. Tell your fan or the people that follow you or subscribe to your channel. Uh, let them know why they should follow our YouTube channel and why it's a little bit different and basically sh show us a little bit of support and then we want you to share this video and because what that's gonna do is when we hit a thousand subscribers, we're gonna give away that free parts package and then at three or at 5,000 subscribers, we're gonna give away a bicycle retailed at $300 um, to one of you lucky viewers. All, all the shipping included, paid for, everything, not a dime coming out of your pocket. We're gonna ship it out to you once we hit 5,000 subscribers. So make sure you share it, make sure you help us get more subscribers faster because when we get them faster, that's, that's when we're gonna give it away. And then also too, um, we want you to turn on your notification bells because what that's gonna do, it's gonna let you know when, when we post a new video, which is every day, but we range from different times. So we want you to basically know so that it allows you to go on that video and comment. And the comments is really what's gonna help you win the price package and the bicycle from us because what we're gonna do is we're gonna randomly go through our videos and we're gonna select one of the videos and then we're gonna randomly go through the comments and see which comment that we like the best and then we're gonna select it and that's how you win. So the more comments that you put on our, our actual videos, the greater chances you have at winning one of our packages. And yeah, thanks for watching our explain and review on the Sabrosa Tyro Complete Bike. Um, We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.